Good morning. So we are leaving to Japan. Um, Tyler and Jahao are coming in like 10 minutes to pick us up. But I just want to show you guys, I got destroyed by mosquitoes last night. These are massive mosquito bites. I even put like a little bit of concealer on it to cover it up, but it didn't, didn't do anything. So I decided it wasn't worth it. So we're going to the airport, then we're heading to Tokyo. Bye. We're going on this trip with a couple of friends. So there's Jahao, Tyler, Liam, and Charlie. But we're meeting up with Jahao later when we get to Tokyo. So first we're flying to Tokyo, and then we're taking the bullet train to Kyoto, where we'll stay for about a week, and then go back to Tokyo for another week, and that's where we'll meet up with Jahao. So this trip started because Jahao is doing a plant installation pop-up for the sunglasses brand Bonnie Clyde in Harajuku. And Charlie, also known as Gravity, is teaching a Vogue class in Tokyo. And the rest of us are pretty much just going along um, as a vacation. We're finally in Kyoto. We made it to our Kyoto Airbnb and I'm so tired. Um, I think we've been traveling for like almost 20 hours now or something. This is the room that Chris and I are staying in. Check this out. We have a pretty cool outdoor tub situation. So I think I might take a bath there. These tatami mats are pretty nice. I think we're just gonna go to bed and then get some stuff for dinner at the convenience store. Okay, good night. Also, look at this light. I am going to the vending machine right now to get a lot to hear something. And it's just right by um, our Airbnb. It's a nice little walk. No one's awake yet. Well, no one's walking around the neighborhood at least. Here's my little vending machine. What do I want? I think I want... I'm gonna get this one. So it's 100 yen for a little drink. And a thousand yen is about seven US dollars. It's pretty small. Maybe I'll get one for Chris too. The weather right now is pretty nice. Like it's humid and a little warm, but it's not hot yet. It is pretty early though. Right now it's like 5 a.m. This is where we're staying, but I think I'm not gonna go inside yet because there's nowhere to really sit down in there. I know it's still early, but I kind of like the humidity and the warmth. So I know it's gonna get a lot hotter later in the day, but right now um, it feels kind of nice and like a little comforting just because it feels like the first time I went to Vietnam um, and I just have like really fond memories of time in Vietnam and in Thailand and just like summers in Asia. We're off to the temple. So we finished with the temple and now we are gonna go to um, back to the Airbnb to get Chris and then we're gonna get like coffee or breakfast or something. <laughs> Good morning. This tastes like green tea. No, this is still matcha. Oh, it this is? is just the matcha latte, and this is just like ice cream. Oh. So, do you use this spoon for it? I think so. Oh my god, it's so good. I am walking around by myself. I'm gonna go to the convenience store because we got back to the Airbnb after like shopping and eating sushi and stuff and it was like three o'clock and then um, most of us fell asleep on accident. Well, we fell asleep and we just wanted to take a little bit of a nap but then we ended up sleeping until like nine. And I think everyone's asleep right now. So I am gonna go get some food from the convenience store because I didn't get dinner. Really pretty at night. Maybe kind of spooky, but it's nice. I feel like I've been vlogging really sporadically. It's like 4.30 in the morning and I'm just gonna go on a walk by myself because um, no one else is really awake yet. And like, it's so quiet here. 
I'm trying to keep my voice down a little bit because these are like um, neighborhood streets. I walked over to this vending machine because I was like, oh, I've never seen these snacks or drinks before. Uh, but it's a cigarette vending machine. So it's kind of interesting. But yeah, I'm walking over to a temple. Wow, look at, look at those lotus. Oh my God, there's a crane thing. Is that a crane? All of this is moss. I thought it was grass, but it's it's all moss. It looks so, it looks so good. Look at that. Wow. Okay, pretty much like all the entrances to the actual temples are blocked off and gated off. I'm assuming it's just because I'm too early. Ooh, look at this moss. Wow, this is nice moss. I purchased this moss before. It's so expensive in the US. Look at this cut down tree. Has some mushrooms growing on it. Pretty sure that's some type of mushroom. And then a few more over there. And then there's moss. And then I was like, what are these things? And I look closer and they're these snails. They look kind of gross, but. <laughs> It's starting to rain right now, so I'm gonna head back to the Airbnb. I haven't been in a tub in years. This is so nice. I would love to have a tub like this somewhere. I'm sure you guys can hear the rain right now. It's pretty loud. Um, this is so peaceful. It's so nice. So the rain is making all this noise up here. And then you can see some of the rain over this way. I hope my shirt isn't getting too wet. I think we're gonna go to a cafe, and after that we're gonna go to Nara. So it's like a day trip that we're gonna take to Nara, and I think we're taking the train. Chris and I are hanging out on the ground. Hello, make your vlog debut. Hi guys. Um, Chris is just listening to the new New Jean songs. Well, I guess it's not out yet, but ETA, and he's into Super Shy right now. Super Shy, Super Shy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> also, I posted on my story, um, happy birthday best to my best friend, um, which is Chris, because it was his birthday yesterday, yeah. And then I got so many DMs of people being like, you guys are just friends? Forgot that people might take it that way. Yeah, I'm just gonna let them, let them think that for a while. <laughs> I think it's funny. I right, see you guys at the cafe, probably. <laughs> I've been using the Google, is this a Google app? Mm -hmm. With the Google app, you can translate anything, anywhere, anytime. Tyler did an ad for that once. <laughs> Google app is the better way to search when I want to order dinner. It's pretty cool, you can use the camera and then you can see the translations in real time. How about the plane to Yeah, the plane to The train. I don't write that many trains. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They're coming. Oh! They're kind of aggro. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Run away. These deer are cute, but they're honestly kind of aggressive when you're trying to feed them with the cookies. Like, they'll kind of bite at your shirt and your clothes and stuff. Um, and I also got poop on my shoe. Because there's poop everywhere. Making funny noises. Oh no. I my sunglasses. Tyler hella speed walking. Super shy. Why does it look like Dio? There's like a little lake here and a creek. Let's go check it out. Wow, look at how nice this is. And there's some deer over there.
After I got back from Nara, I knocked out and fell asleep until the next morning. Jet lag has been kind of rough, if I'm being honest. So today we're going to Osaka, but first we're getting breakfast and coffee at this cafe that's near our Airbnb. I found it randomly on Google Maps and it's really beautiful inside. Something that I've noticed about Japan is that most restaurants or cafes have really nice plants. Like they fit the space and look healthy. So to get to Osaka, we are taking the bullet train. I don't know if you can tell from the footage, but this thing is fast. I actually ended up getting a little motion sick from looking at the window because everything was moving so fast. And our first stop is Osaka Castle. It's super windy now and it started raining. Yeah, look, the clouds are moving in really quick. The rain has let up a little bit, so I think we're gonna go back to the castle and see if we can get inside. We were just retreating earlier inside of like the gift shop area and I got this. I got these breads from a gotcha game. Squish, squish, squish. Pretty fun to play with. This view is beautiful. I love the birds up there, they look so cool. So I thought the castle would be kind of like a recreation of the original castle and how it looked. But it's a museum, which is cool, but that's not really what I was expecting. It's all like super modern and museum-y inside. I was excited to see a recreation of what a castle would actually look like because I have never been inside of a castle. Afraid of bugs? Um, not most. Like, would you touch this? Yeah. I think we're gonna go to an arcade, um, but right now we're in this shop that has like a lot of video game merch type things. This is it Animal Crossing? Mm -hmm. over to the night market but I think they're closed right now because it's still really early. Nothing is opened up at all. Um, so I'm assuming they don't start until a lot later. I think we're gonna check out somewhere else and so maybe like a restaurant or something. Are you just having it here? It all goes in the same way. Oh, okay. but yeah. Ooh, we just finished eating at this Italian food place. It's pretty fun. Interesting seeing how a different country portrays Italy. In the US, we have Olive Garden and other Italian restaurants. Now we're gonna go to this bridge. It's called like Duntabori Bridge. It's gonna be like nice sights and then maybe street vendors and food and souvenirs, stuff like that. Chris and his white coat. <laughs> Today is the last full day in Kyoto. It's actually the evening now. So I went and I saw some of the plant stores here in Kyoto. Um, but I'm gonna make my visits to the plant stores their own video because I think it'd be nice to have them like all together. Now I'm gonna go to this night market and meet up with Tyler and Liam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I should have recorded it before I put into it, but you know. It's the morning of our last day in Kyoto, and we're at a new cafe called Wendy. This is my favorite cafe so far. The interior is cozy and seems to be owned by this cute older couple. The styling to me feels like a Japanese take on American vintage, and it felt kind of comforting. There was a shelf with a bunch of secondhand items with price tags on them, and I bought this radio for about $2. The owners even checked to make sure the radio worked for me and put in new batteries. packing up and getting ready to leave Kyoto and head to Tokyo. I have like no idea what 
Tokyo's like really, so. Um, but I think it's gonna be really different from Kyoto. Here it's pretty chill, I mean it's still a big city, but um, life feels kind of slower. Tokyo's probably gonna have a lot of people, be super crowded, um, but I think that's gonna be fun, you know? Atmosphere shift. See you guys in Tokyo. Bye.